Alright, sup bitches, Cat here, and today we are playing Thomas Was Alone. Um, resume, I've never played before. New game. New game? Okay, space bar. The program was a failure. If people forget this, it was a massive flop. Decoder started adding name strings to all the AIs as a joke. Thomas at 23, 6, 12 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Alright, cool, yeah. Sweet, I've plugged my controller in. So, controller time. Any buttons do anything special? Alright, well we got a jump button and a movement button, so... Yay! Okay, so we gotta go get in the block. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Good idea. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Okay. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. <laughs> yep, I already figured out the jump button. Okay. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here, it was pushing him, but gently. Oh, okay. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Okay, so is this just the tutorial, or...? Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying much. I'm just letting the game tell me. Just letting the game talk. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Very interesting, cute little game. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly <laughs> didn't want to swim it. Stop! I didn't he made need... another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. <laughs> I didn't even mean to get in the water. Just once you said water, I fell in. Okay. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Thomas. Hopefully we'll find him some friends. Well, if we did, then the game wouldn't be called Thomas Was Alone. This is was, not is. So, we're gonna find some friends. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. So sad. Be there or be. Oh, I got an achievement. It doesn't show on the screen. It says, be there or be. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be spawned in an environment at some point. 
Turns out I missed the point, something, something. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to his skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. That was uh, square. Actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. You're just jelly, bro. Now I gotta come save you, and you're an asshole. That isn't very nice, is it? You're a good guy. Helping this bastard square get places. Huh. I guess I gotta make sure he gets down there okay. Fucking fat ass. Bastard. He's quick and he's fast and he can jump well. Oh, but I need his help. Okay. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Wow. Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. That's ridiculous. Oh well, it works. Hey, well, we found a friend, but he's dead. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine. Happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Chris, you are an asshole. Am I gonna help you get over all of this? You are a bastard, Chris. Fat ass better make these jumps. Yeah. What the prick? Oh, come on, you sticky bastard! Really? <laughs> I don't wanna help this Chris little asshole. At Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. You're a bastard, Chris. A damn bloody bastard. You wouldn't be anywhere without Thomas, you fuck. Is that the point of the game? Is the game supposed to make me hate Chris? Come on, Black. his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Wait, what? 
but he can't get up there because he's a fat bastard. Okay. I can't... What am I supposed to do? A few inches later... I knew it! Okay. Not, no more of that shit. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? This game is getting weird. Thomas was alone, but then these assholes show up. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. John's a dick too. to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Yeah, and you're the one who just needed help, John. Bastard. Oh, God damn it! Come back here, Thomas. Oh, come on! I'm gonna do this shit again. At least I got it now. Come on, fucking Chris, can't you do anything? Come on, make the fuck you, man! Yay! Come on, Thomas, come on, Chris! Come on, Chris! Oh, John, get back here! Where do you think you're fucking going? Alright, Thomas, help Chris! You are. Don't you guys pop three? There we go, there we go, there we go. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. So is this learned them learning how to be friends? immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Talking. He was there we go. I hope it auto saves or I have to go through that shit again. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here guys. I will play the next 10 1.10s 
next time. So go check it out. Um, again, it's on Steam. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later. Wow, I'm going to try that. Don't sign a card.